Well, yeah, maybe I'm just going to have to move this map because right now um, I'm using the, uh, not the mobile phone and it would be probably a heck of a lot. It just maybe, or maybe I just need to practice with the, uh, the camcorder. Anyways, hold on. I gotta grab my forceps. So this, uh, what I've been doing with the this map here, um, this is, I guess, my very first attempt um, to start visualizing or articulating or whatever you want to call it, um, my abstraction for trying to, what I'm going to do with the other areas, um, well, on the planet that I'm not going to be focusing on so much um, the way I am with, uh, let's say, with uh, Mesopotamia and and Palestine and um, uh, the Eastern Front and all that stuff. So this is my first attempt. Like I said, I'm just this is early, early, early days. I'm just trying to figure out things. Um, so I've basically tried to kind of divide the um, the front here uh, into uh, they're kind of like rough um, mega hexes in a way, like seven hexes of each, kind of roughly. So, and then I just, you know, a, a, a from A to E sectors kind of thing, just to kind of give me an idea of what to do. And what I'm trying to think of right now, it's just proto stuff, and my God, anybody who wants to throw out comments and suggestions, go for it. Or, you know, hey, this game does this, and so on and so forth. Remember, I'm off doing my own thing now, man. Um, you know, uh, that's the way it goes. Anyways, um, so what I'm thinking about is like each turn, uh, each month, um, like I said, this is just early days. Uh, each side would say, okay, I'm going to devote um, uh, so many supply and strength points in, you know, in sector A, B, C, D, or E. Um, also mountain offensive. I want to start talking about uh, like what it means to mountain offensive. Um, I think that's, that's pretty important. I don't think that's um, covered very well or, or, or much in uh, Dravel Creek the way I would like it to be uh, covered or focused on, um, that type of thing. Uh, yeah, it's nice. Uh, Zoe and Stefan were over here, and the first thing, I love this type of feedback, man. First thing, so I said, oh, you know, blah, 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 I got new maps popped up on the wall, and this is not a good spot for it, but it's where it's gotta be for now. Um, and Zoe goes, yeah, I can barely see the things. And I'm like, yes, that's exactly what I wanted. And trust me, this is better than what it was, and they suck still these things. I did have the cubes up on them, different colored cubes. Uh, the problem is I want, for a strategic point of view, I want the names of the places, that type of stuff. I'm not really interested in the train. I know it sounds kind of weird, but uh, I'm not. Um, so that's what I've been doing lately. Um, just been putting down, oh my god, I spent several hours, all kinds of different combinations of visual aid type stuff. I tried, to, oh, I was like, oh, I don't like this, I don't like that. Blah, blah, blah. Still don't like this, but I like the, I'm getting on the way towards what I like. Um, other than that, uh, yeah, I like the way it's coming along. I'm still trying to broad strokes and, uh, um, it's going to be, this is going to be for, uh, you know, um, how would you call it? Um, uh, yeah, if I want to look at it in the grand scheme of things, who knows? It may change. You know, I mean, maybe like I said, maybe this whole sector will be the most most like exciting thing for me or whatever. Who knows? Um, I just want to like be allow this to add to the narrative and also have impacts, constraints on supply and strength points and what the heck's going on in the other places. Which is now what I'm going to try to do is. Uh, for little battles, just to add the, um, uh, I'm looking at this uh, from a football perspective, uh, or sorry, um, a soccer perspective. So I'm starting to even think of that's the way to approach it metaphorically. Uh, are you going to be counterattacking? Are you going to be uh, a possession oriented? Um, what do you get? Like, when are you thinking about doing substitutions? In other words, this is the exact same type of stuff I was talking about way back when, when I wanted to use the ESMS uh, free software stuff, the the old play by email. It's still around, and I found the freaking game engine upstairs on one of my old laptops, so I get to play around. What I'm going to do is alter the t uh, the commentary and so on. So I've got a lot of stuff to do, but fun stuff. Um, and then I can pop in stuff, and it will give me. 
um, narrative play, uh, whatever. And I can pop in, say, say, you know, whatever the Germans uh, mounted a little, whatever, near, uh, you know, I don't know, whatever. And, and off they go, you know, that type of stuff and vice versa. But um, my God, I can't believe what the hell is happening with this game or this whole thing. Actually, I was mentioning to Zoe, um, God, I've got so many freaking other videos to do too. Uh, they, um, Zoe did the uh, turn upstairs, did the Axis and Allies thing. That was totally cool. So, uh, yeah, I got some stuff to talk about that. But um, I, I said to Zoe, man, this is like my RPG, basically. This is my little ongoing campaign. It's just, it's not dwarves and elves, but it's, you know, other stuff. And um, off I go learning about a bazillion other things. Um, yeah. Well, I love the sound. There you go. Okay, hope you're having a good time. See ya.